Hello guys and welcome to my vlog. <clears throat> it is KJ here coming at you with another episode of Fishing Planet. In uh, the last episode, we started off <clears throat> in the beginning just trying to build cash to, uh, so that we could come to Emerald Lake and fish for walleye. And uh, walleye, especially for those in the beginning who have only unlocked a few lakes, Walleye is really the first um, <clears throat> decent money-making fish that you unlock. <clears throat> well, you don't really unlock it, but you unlock Emerald Lake in New York, which is where the walleye are. Let me tell you real quick how I catch these walleye. Um, I explained this a little bit in the last video, um, but I'll go over it again. <clears throat> first of all, I want to say hello to my kids, Andrew and Angelina. I make this YouTube channel just for them. They live, uh, don't live with me, and I only get to see them about once a month. And uh, they probably get tired of hearing this every video, but I just want to say hello to them. How are you guys doing? Um, also, like uh, gaming, they like gaming, so I make these gaming videos. I've done Finishing Planet. I've made videos of uh, Neverwinter. If y'all haven't played that, you should get into it. And tonight I just started a walkthrough of God of War on PS4, which is an awesome game. <clears throat> if y'all haven't uh, played that, I highly recommend it. Anyway, back to Fishing Planet. So we're here. We're I'm fishing for two days here in Emerald Lake in New York on Fishing Planet. And uh, we are fishing for walleye. Now, walleye... First of all, you have to catch them at night. So go to nighttime. And generally what I catch all of my walleye on are shad. Three inch, either two inch or three inch shad would work. Uh, the lake where you are fishing for walleye is fairly deep. So I like to use a semi-heavy jig head. Either I'm using a half ounce right now, the two alt hook. Um, a third ounce will work, even a quarter ounce. The only thing I don't like about it is you may not catch the big whoppers of uh, walleye, but the thing I don't like about it is, uh, um, <clears throat> you know, the time you got to wait for your lure to sink to the bottom because these fish, generally I catch them between the bottom and halfway up, maybe, you know, a quarter of the way. Up. <clears throat> in other words, three quarters of the way deep down into the water. Anyway, does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> anyway, I'm really on uh, day one. As I said, I've come here for two days. It's a two-day fishing trip to New York to fish for walleye. They also have yellow perch as well as pickerel. And uh, another fish that a lot of people don't catch on here, a sauger which uh, you mostly, the reason why people don't catch them very often is number one, they don't fish for them. Most people come here to fish for walleye. Uh, the sauger you catch out in the middle of the lake, um, deep down by doing a lift and drop motion. And you gotta be in a boat. You, you can't really hell hardly. I have caught a sauger from the dock here before, <clears throat> but not very often. So um, anyway, I'm fishing here with a shad. Uh, these nighttime shad, or this is a nighttime worm that works real good. These uh, nighttime shad work excellent or dark colors. I was just now fishing with this uh, yellow and red one. White ones work good also. Let's try a white one just for... But generally all of these shad you can catch them on. Another thing you can catch them on really well here that I don't use that often, but I know that they work is a narrow spoon and uh, I don't know I just don't fish with a narrow spoon that often maybe we'll try that but anyway I'm just finishing up my day one here catching the walleye as you can see up in the upper left hand corner uh, end of my fishing trip so that you can see walleye <clears throat> with a medium fish cabin that holds 66 pounds And I was catching them like crazy, but now, let's see if we can catch one. As you saw in my last video, I caught several good walleye, like right there. 
And that doesn't just go for walleye. I mean, that also goes for different lakes, different fish. Some fish are, you'll catch more there close, you know, like the perch or, you know, crappie or whatever. <clears throat> this lake, by the way, does have crappie. I didn't mention, here's one. The walleye aren't shy about when they hit your lure. I mean, they're a heavy fish. They hit it hard. And, uh... What's wrong with my internet? Am I still broadcasting? It says my internet quality is low. Why would it say that? I'm going to have to check and see if I'm still broadcasting. Oh, but there's a two and a half pound inch walleye. Two and a half pound inch. That doesn't make any sense. Two and a half pound inches. Yeah. No. 2.5 pound walleye for $216. Let me check my settings real quick, guys. Do not go away. I'm going to keep talking so you know that I'm here. It says I'm still here. It says I'm still on air. I don't know. I'm going to keep going. Keep that sucker. How much am I up to now? 57 pounds? We might go, depending on how long it takes for me to catch these fish, uh, I might go all the way to the 66 pounds. If, uh, if I'm not getting many bites and, uh, I'm not sure uh, that I, you know, the video is getting boring or whatever. Then I'll leave early and uh, I'll let you see how much money I brought in. But as you can see, it's already started. Even since I started this video, uh, the nighttime on here was kind of sort of light. And generally, you got to have some light when it's when it's good fishing on your. If you checked your daily chart. And it says the fishing is good at night. Generally what I find is, at least for uh, here, I don't know about other lakes, but at least for here, um, the darker it gets, the the lower the fish chart goes. I had a bite right there and I missed. Let's see if we can't catch him right here by the dock. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but anyway... Yesterday, in the video, um, I was fishing with the daily chart kind of low. Let's check it real quick. As I remember, as you remember, actually, it's getting better. It was uh, not a great night for fishing compared to our, I mean, according to our fishing chart over there on the left. But uh, it's approaching 3 a.m., which is one of the peak times. So let's switch over to our nighttime shad. Oop, that's the worm. That might work too. You want to try the worm? Let's try the worm. Why not? Throw that glow in the dark worm. Glow in the worm. Glow worm? A glow worm. <laughs> that's what it is. Anyway. These worms will catch a, a walleye too, although sometimes they're a little finicky about it. They don't work as good. I don't think as the shad. There's one. Boy, he hit that one hard. That's on the worm. About 55 feet out. It seems like about 60 feet out uh, right in front of the dock is a good spot to catch these. If this one's three pounds, it'll take us up to 60 pounds. Then we'll only catch two more fish and get out of here. I think that's a three pounder, or close to it. 2.8. And you can see, I mean, 250 to $300 per fish. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it adds up. And this, uh, again, this fish, uh, especially for those people who are just starting out on this game or people who are low on funds, low on money, which I was, uh, this is a great place to, uh, you can come here for two or three days for like twenty-eight to $3,000. And, I mean, you could cash that much in a single day. I mean, you could like double and triple your money coming here easily. 
just catching these walleye. It's also fun to catch pike during the day. We did that a little bit in the last video. By the way, hello to everybody out there on YouTube. I don't know if I've said that or not. If you are new to this video or you know you want to watch my other videos of Fishing Planet or other games that I have played, Neverwinter, um, I just started a God of War game, like I said, um, please hit the subscribe button so you can watch all of my videos and you don't miss any. I know my kids have subscri subscribed. And I make this video for them. They like watching. And I like making them, to tell you the truth. I also do a daily, not a daily, I call it a daily video vlog. Like a life vlog, but it's definitely not daily. I'm going to do it more when I get my new camera. I mean, not a new camera. It's not a new camera. It's an old camera, but uh, I needed a charger for it. So I'm waiting for the charger to come in. It'll be higher quality video feeds. Hopefully this video, uh, this one comes out okay, because it said that the uh, internet broadcast was low. I hope it's okay. Of course, I'll check it before I put it up and post it on YouTube. I mean, if it's like terrible or something, I'm not going to put it up there. Even if it's kind of okay, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and put it up. All right, let's switch to our shad here. Um, nighttime shad. Just over here. I still have one more day at this lake that I'll fish. I don't know if I'll broadcast it or not. Maybe the end of it. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But nevertheless, you will get another video from uh, Fishing Planet. I try to mix it up. So the next one I do, either be my second day here or... I'll skip through it, get some money, and we'll go to a different lake. I don't know what lake. There's a fish. The guy beside me has one, too. What lake would y'all like to see? Leave a comment. Falcon Lake in Oregon is a good money maker. A little expensive, but we could definitely go there after catching all these walleye for two days. We can go to, uh, I don't know, Rocky Lake in Colorado, catch some trout. Not a big money maker there, but it's it's okay. Mm, I don't know. Naharan in uh, what is it, North Carolina? That's a good place. Catch some bass there, maybe some catfish. I don't know. We'll just see how how it goes. How how I feel. Sixty-two, almost sixty-three pounds. We'll get one more fish in here, and then we'll cash out for the day, and we'll see what our total is. So don't go anywhere. Just need one more. Will it come this cast? I don't know. We'll see. Not that one. Just over here. This is where I was catching them earlier in the last video. Almost like every cast, man. Even though the, the fishing chart said it was a bad time, I was catching them like every cast almost. Here's one. It doesn't feel huge. Starting to tug a little more now. Come on. I'm trying to get him in. There he is. Come on. Survey says. Ooh, not bad. Two and a half pounds. I didn't think he'd be that big. What's that put us up to? 60, 65.3 pounds. Okay, we're going to call it a day here. Let's, uh, don't leave yet. We're going to go check our keep net and see how much money we made. And, uh, let's see. Hit leave. No, 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 no. I don't want to leave because I'm going to fish another day here. 
I want to fast forward. That's what I want to do to the next day. Whew. I'm glad I caught that. Fast forward to next morning. And here we go. I'm not premium. I do not believe in paying money on the video games. Maybe I will occasionally, but not much. Okay. So here's, I mean, look at that. I made $5,600 in one day. It cost me like, I want to say $2,800 plus the license, which was like $600. So right at $3,000 for the two day trip. And I've made it that back plus some, plus like 20, what, 200 or 2,000 to uh, $2,500 profit just in the first day fishing walleye. A big money maker. It's a good way to fish. And uh, yeah, that's the way to fish for walleye, guys. Um, I will see you guys in the next video where either we'll be here, excuse me, on day two fishing for more walleye or... We may be on another lake. I don't know yet. Depends on how I feel. But either way, check out my next video. Hit the subscribe button. Drew and Lena, I love you guys. Have a good night. I'll see you guys later. It's KJ signing off from Emerald Lake.